Hello, 8th grade students, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So, for this week, we are going to have a lab class. Please, I want you all to have your lab coats for the upcoming lab class. Please, have your lab coats in your lockers so you can be ready for any lab class once you have your lab coats in the lockers. As for what we've talked about before the STEAM, uh, STEAM Fair Week, we started with the lesson Evidence in the Fossil Records. In this lesson, we started by defining what is fossils and what are fossil records and how fossil records are used as an evidence of the theory of evolution and how organisms evolved until the day we see them until the form that we see today. We also discussed microevolution versus macroevolution, small change versus large change. We also discussed how fossils are formed and the different kinds of fossils such as body fossils and trace fossils. As for this week, we are going to start by how fossils are the evidence of evolution. We're going to talk about how early Earth was formed more than 4.5 billion years ago, and it was extremely hot. And then Earth was likely melted and then cooled, and the solid rocks became stable at Earth's surface. We're going to discuss the oldest fossils known and how they were formed by different layers of the earth. And then we are going to talk about evolution through time. So most of the fossil records show that cl earth's climate has changed. So some of the fossils that were found in Antarctica, for example, showed that the animals or the species that were there used to live in hot areas. So Antarctica back then, or that part of Earth, was hot, and then due to climate change, it became cold. So, fossils are evidence that we, we have evolution in organisms and also the Earth and the climate. And then we are going to discuss the comparisons of anatomy. So, since evolution states that we all come from common ancestors, there is the evidence of fossil records that observe how the anatomy of these species have similar structures, such as embryological development or how the embryo is similar to different organisms such as chickens, fish, turtles, and pigs, all resemble each other during the early stages of development. And we have homologous structures that show us that bats, dogs, and dolphins, and even flying reptiles have homologous structures in their limbs. And to end this lesson, we are going to talk about how the species begin and end from gradual change, rapid change, extension, and how us as humans can influence extension by environmental change. And as usual, we will always use online resources and online quizzes to assess and make sure that we understand the lesson. And that is it for this week. Thank you so much, 8th grade. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Thank you so much.